Okay, hello, hello everyone. This is Sue from Sue's Paper Creations. And for those of you that are just stumbling across my Sue Phillip YouTube channel, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And I am so excited to share with you um, 12 days of sneak peek. So we are on day number four. We have worked through some of the new products from the up and coming mini catalog that is going to be launching on January the 4th. So there is some amazing stuff in here for um, spring and uh, summer. I love it. And also we have celebrations starting on January the 4th as well, which is an exciting time because it allows you to earn free products for every $60 that you spent. Okay. So one of the perks with being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that you get your hands on these products like a month before the catalog launch, which means I get to do some creating and this is how I decided to come up with the 12 days of sneak peeks. So for 12 days, I'm going to share with you on, this is on my Facebook Live on my Sue's Paper Creations, but I will be posting them here on YouTube as well. But I'm going to share with you um, 12 different projects using items from the up and coming catalogs. So on our first day of sneak peeks, we used the Hello Ladybug, and this is actually adorable. It's a nice little fun fold. You open it up. And you've got a little greeting on the inside. So that was day one. Um, we followed that up with our um, rainbows, no, sunshine and rainbows um, designer series papers, which is in the celebration flyer. It's going to be one of those things you can earn for free, as well as special moments, um, a beautiful stamp set. So we did this cute little gift card front with a little magnetic closure and then it's on the front of a card so that was our day two so if you haven't seen any of these you'll be able to find these videos um, I did a little um, video grouping and all of these will be all grouped together in a playlist and it will be called the 12 days of sneak peeks okay this was our third um, day and we have got the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. We made four adorable cards and then we used one of our acetate boxes and I just did a little wrap on that. So all of these fit together for a gorgeous little gift. Okay, so we are up to day four. So for day four, I wanted to introduce these awesome otters. Um, I'm actually going to be running a free class on January the 22nd in my Stamping with Sue's Paper Creations Facebook group. So if you want to get in on that, I'll be posting items that you will need to create the cards and what to have ready and cut ready to go. And then you just take your awesome otter stamp set and you create along with me. Okay, so that's going to be Saturday, June the 22nd. Um, for today, I want to introduce you to these cute little otters and we are going to be making this cute little gift card holder isn't it sweet and it is going to be a marvelous gift card holder because i'm also introducing some new papers from celebration so this is one item that you can earn for 60 dollars starting in january um, another item is these gorgeous papers which have marble coloring in them. And I'm just gonna pull out this package here, because I've got a little variety of all of them, so it's a little bit easier. And they're, they're double-sided. So you have got uh, Balmy Blue. We have got Basic Gray. Aren't these fabulous? We have got Coastal Cabana. So these are the two different sides. We have got the gorgeous grape for those who love purple. We have got um, Daffodil Delight, which is our nice 
um, rich yellow and then we have got flirty flamingo so I can see um, lots of cool backgrounds for cards doing some techniques on here would also be beautiful but those are um, the set of papers you get 48 of them and you get like a dozen oh no eight I guess eight it is of all of the different colors and they're double-sided okay so we're going to get started on our project tonight um, which will be our fourth day of sneak peeks and um, I'm going to start by doing some stamping so again I want to do I've been doing this a lot lately because I love the look of it um, I do some embossing heat embossing with white embossing powder on colors and it just makes a nice bold look for your greetings so we're going to take um, the two greetings here so we have got it's birthday time and we've got your you are uh, utterly awesome and when i did my facebook live and we made this one i had everybody choose whether we were going to use the coastal cabana or the balmy blue it was like tied so we went ahead and we used the coastal cabana which i love this look i love how it turned out but for this one, I'm going to do the other color combination. So therefore, you guys will get to see what both of them look like. Okay? So I'm going to take my Versamark first. And we're going to get our greetings done. And then I'm going to do some stamping of my otters. And we are going to do some color. Okay. So I will often um, stamp quite a few greetings, have them all embossed, and then I have them ready to go. I have kind of like a bucket of greetings, and they're all ready to go so that when I need something for a card, I can just pick from the greetings that I already have ready. Okay, so there is the greetings there. Now I did get a tiny bit of powder I don't know if you can see that just on the edge there so I want to remove that now what you may not know now let me just see if I can find my tool here if I take my pick tool there it is um, some people use a little uh, brush to remove excess embossing powder in places where you don't want them I like to use the putty end of my take my pick tool because not only does it brush it away but it actually picks it up. So I don't have to worry about it going anywhere else. Okay, so there I have got nice clean greetings and I'm gonna heat those up. So this just takes a second, but it is well worth it. Every time that I heat and boss, it is like magical, I love it. one of the first things that made me fall in love with stamping both me and my daughter there we go so you can see how that just bounces off of the cardstock okay so we're going to put those aside now i'm going to bring in some white circles that i um, cut out with my cut and emboss machine and the tuxedo black and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp this cute little otter on this one, like that. Then I'm gonna use this one here and I'm gonna stamp this one onto this circle, just like that, okay? Oh, I got a little, I pushed too hard. So I'm gonna do a little flip. Always good to have two sides to every piece of paper. There we go, much better, okay? So I'm gonna stamp those guys and I'm gonna use my um, Stampin' Blends to color them. So I'm gonna bring in, I think first of all, I'm gonna use a little bit of Dark Pool Party and I'm gonna use that to color just the water droplets here. Now, for those of you who have not um, followed me before I always do a loyalty gift every single month um, for any order over $90 
$90 placed um, using my current host code. So it just so happens that in the month of December, anyone who places an order and you use the host code, the loyalty gift this month is a stamp and blends combo pack. So you would get a light and a dark of the color of your choice. So once I see the order go in, I um, just contact you and you can let me know what color and I just order it up and then I mail it off to you. Okay, usually it's some sort of embellishment, but for the month of December, I wanted to do something extra special and it gives you a chance to try the awesome blends, which I love, okay? Now I'm going to use a combination of light and dark smoky slate for this cute little otter. I'm gonna start with, what have I got here? The light one. And I'm going to do the main part of the belly in the light color. There we go. So cute. I love it. It seems to be every single celebration they come out with a cute little set of creatures. Um, last time it was um, the sheep, right? Counting sheep. And then before that, we had the darling donkeys. We had the hay chick. So I'm trying to think what else we've had in the past. Um, oh, we had the meerkats. That was cute too. So we always have kind of something fun. A little cute critter. So it just so happens that this round we've got some awesome otters. And they are super sweet. I think they're going to be a huge hit for us in BC because I'm in Victoria, British Columbia. We see a lot of otters. See them always at the beach swimming around. And we also have, we see uh, river otters actually as well. We have some of them in our area. Okay, so I'm going to use the darker um, smoky slate. So this is the dark and I'm going to do the belly on this guy. And I don't have to be too picky when I am coloring with the blends because the blends tend to, because they're alcohol based, as they, the more they're kind of on the paper, um, you end up losing any lines or strokes from your coloring. And um, it, uh, you end up a with a nice blended look without any of the lines, which is nice. And if you want to, you can combine light and dark when you're doing shading and shadowing. You can also go over using the same color and the more you go over it, the more shadowing can appear even just using one color. Okay, now I'm gonna use a black and I'm gonna give a little black nose to this little guy. Just like that. Awesome, okay, so there are our cute little otters, okay? Now, no party is complete without party hats. So I'm gonna just quickly stamp a couple of little hats for these guys and I'm gonna think um, I did color them in the blue there I'm just debating I think I still will use navy even though I'm flipping up the colors a little bit I'm gonna use the light navy and I'm still gonna I like to use the bullet end here for fine stuff so I'm still gonna use that navy color but the base of the card, like down here, is going to be navy, and then our writing is going to be in that calypso um, coral. Or not calypso coral, so our coastal cabana. Okay. So I'm just going to do the blue and the white, and I think we'll do a gray pom pom again. And these are going to be a nice, easy um, cut to do with my paper snips. go there's one 
And there's two, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly cut these and then we're gonna get to actually assembling and showing you how to create this really quick and easy gift card holder. So I know this is a sneak peek. We are right before Christmas. So, I mean, you could think of, you can't get your hands on these little guys yet, but you could use the same concept with the um, gift card holder and you could use some Christmas papers and you could do easily do some last minute gift card holders for those gift cards that you give over Christmas. Cause I know a lot of people do do, do give um, gift cards now for gifts for your Starbucks, Amazon gift cards, whatever it may be, restaurants, all that stuff. So it's just kind of fun to have a cute little gift card holder to put them in. Okay. And that is what I'm going to show you today. The nice thing is, is you can use um, just two pieces of six inch by three inch. So if you happen to use two six by six papers, which is what we're doing and different patterns, you'll be able to make two of them out of your two sheets, which is nice. Okay, so I have got my otters ready to go. I have got my party hats ready to go. There they are there, I almost lost them. I have got my greetings. I think we are ready to show you how to create um, the actual gift card holder. Now, one thing that I do want to do is I want to just do some ribbon while I have my markers out and then I'm gonna put them away. But I'm gonna show you how you can take uh, just our um, white seam binding or crinkle seam binding ribbon, which is super light. You can use, um, whether you use a spritzer with alcohol in it and some of our reinkers, or whether you use Stampin' Blends, which is what I like to use, or um, even the Stampin' Write markers work as well. But you can quickly change the color of this ribbon to whatever color you need it to be. So if you happen to have a lot of the Stampin' Blend colors, like myself because I love to get all the different colors um, it's nice because literally in a couple seconds you can switch out the white ribbon and turn it into whatever color you need so I always have um, a couple spools of this ready to go because I often will um, go to make a project and then I don't have the right color ribbon so this stuff comes in handy. I think that should be long enough. I'm gonna do a little bit more because I wanna be able to do a bow on my project. Now with the blends, if you are using blends, they are alcohol based. So as you can see, don't really have any color that has come off and I just finished doing that. It dries super quick. If you're using the Stampin' Write markers, it might take a little bit longer to dry um, especially, well, and if you're using um, the spritzer and alcohol, rubbing alcohol, you just have to let them dry for a little bit. But the blends, and see how the color goes all the way through on this ribbon. I love it. But the blends um, work really quick. All right. So I'm going to get these out of the way. So I have more room to create. And we are going to bring in a paper cutter. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create um, our gift card holder section, okay? I have already gone and I cut some of these already. So basically it was a six by six sheet of the papers. I cut it down the middle, which I've already done and scored this one here, but I'm gonna use um, the combination of the gray and the balmy blue this time. So I've already scored this one at four inches. I need to go ahead and score this one at four as well. Okay, and that's it. This is super easy, okay? So we've got two three inch by six inch pieces of pattern paper. Uh, we have scored them both at four inches. And now we are going to start working on the actual pocket 
for the gift card holder, okay? So the main thing is, is you have to decide what patterns you want on the outside and what patterns you want on the inside. That's the hardest choice. So like for this one, I think I want the same, but the gray and I want just the blue on the bottom. So I'm gonna take and create my pocket like so, okay? And then we're gonna flip this one over and this is going to come down over the top like that, okay? Now, because these are the exact same size, you might find when you put them together that it might be a little bit bulky on this seam here because this is right up against it. I like to take and just trim off, I mean like a sixteenth of an inch, hardly anything, like a shimmy, okay, or a smidgen or whatever you want to call it. See, just that much. Just so it gives a little bit more clearance and less bulk when that comes together. This portion right here, oh, I got some glue on there already. This portion right here is actually going to create your pocket. Okay, so to do that, all we're gonna use is glue dots. So I'm gonna bring in my glue dots and I'm gonna bring in my, take my pick tool, because I find that the easiest. And this is going to be glued right flush with the bottom of this piece. So I'm gonna put my glue dots right on here, keeping in mind that I'm sealing off. Let's have a look again, because you wanna make sure that you put the glue dots in the right spot. So I want to put them right by my um, score line there and then up the sides. I don't wanna put them across here or else it will, it will um, glue off the seam, right? It'll seal it and then you can't put a gift card in it. So that doesn't work. So I'm gonna put one in the middle here. So you do have to put the glue dots around them um, across where this um, score line is because this is the bottom of the card, right? So if you don't put any on there, then when you put your gift card in, what's gonna happen? It's gonna fall right out the bottom and we don't want that to happen. So you don't need to put a lot of glue, but you do need to just make it so that it tacks it shut. Okay, I'm gonna put this one here. See, this is one of those projects that you could easily create a whole bunch of these pockets and then put them aside and decorate them for whatever occasions that you've got going on, um, you know, when occasion comes up. So you can make them as you need them, but you can have these pieces already ready to go. So I've got my glue dots on there. I am going to just line it up on the sides and across the bottom so it's nice and flush, just like that. Okay, and then let's do the little test. There it is there, it's all good. Okay, so there is the actual pocket ready to go. Now we're off just a smidgen. So I'm gonna just trim this. Yeah. So I like to have it so that they are even. There, there, a little flip and trim is all we needed to do, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start actually decorating all of this. Now I have got a magnetic closure and what it does, without it, it, it kind of popped up a little bit. So I have buried one, I've got one magnet in behind the front here, and then I've got one that is buried actually in behind this greeting, okay? So I did some strategic placement, but you can see how that clicks it shut. Can you hear it? Love that, okay? And you don't see that magnet in there, all right? So it's hidden. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same on this one, but first thing we need to do is get our otters in place. So I'm gonna um, glue our otters to our circles. Afterwards, we're going to add some Winca Stella and we're gonna add some embellishments, all that sort of stuff to finish off the card. But I want to do just the basic decorating first. So I'm gonna add these guys. And again, these are part of our layering circle dies and they are definitely a staple in my craft room. 
I use them all the time. I've used them on, well, two projects already this week. We used them last night with our daffodils. Okay. And I love how they layer so you have that little scalloped edge. Makes a difference. Okay, those look good. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this otter on the front. Now you have to keep in mind that um, this piece is going to open and close. So you want to have it so that it's only uh, adhesive on the top, on, yeah, the top half, right? And because it is a piece that you're gonna be touching and moving all the time, I like to use a extra secure piece of tape. So I like to use the tear tape. You could also use our um, Stamp and Seal Plus would work as well. But I'm gonna put it just on the top like that okay now in a minute I may have to let our puppy in he is outside right now so in a minute you might hear a sliding glass door we'll see right now he's just playing out there but okay so the main thing is keep it on the top half so you don't end up gluing that shut okay all right so next we are going to do the same in this section here. We're gonna put our other otter in here. This one I've got a little bit farther down, um, close kind of where that score line is. And I'm gonna put him on flat. Oh, he is barking, he's ready to come in. There you go. Come on in, buddy. All right, so we have got a golden retriever puppy named Jim and he is absolutely adorable but he likes to you know go in and out he's almost a year now so he likes to go outside burn off some energy but it's winter here so I can't just leave the door open so I have to open and close it there we go okay oh that's looking good okay so now I'm going to add my greetings. So let's do a little cutting. Um, I like to do, if you followed some of my videos, I love to just do a crooked cut. So it means I don't have to think about it. I cut it so that it is on an angle on purpose. You don't have to worry about whether you've got things super straight or not. And it gives it a little bit of character like that is perfect okay now I am on the front I'm gonna add some a little bit of dimension so I'm gonna bring in some mini dimensions I think for this one on the inside I am going to keep it flat because I don't want to add any extra bulk to the inside of the gift card but you can always add bar bulk to the outside so let's see Perfect. Okay, this one also needs a little party hat. I'm gonna put party hats on both of them. But for this outside one, again, we can add some dimension to it. Just like that. There, that is awesome. Okay, so we are getting there on the front. We're gonna do our ribbon and stuff in a second, but I wanna open up now and I'm going to cut our second greeting and again I'm gonna just do random cutting like so that's perfect add some character and that one is going to go right here okay so I want to get out uh, my little mini magnets I get these off of Amazon um, they are like um, six millimeter I think these ones are I've gotten different sizes but I think these are six millimeters across by one millimeter thick so they're nice and thin so you can use them for closures they're super super um, strong magnets so they're easy to use you can separate them it takes some separating to do that okay all right so I'm gonna place one just like you can see here on the inside like that okay now I want to watch my placement here because I want 
this to go so that it is in the right spot on the inside. So this can be a little bit trickier. I mean, I did a minuscule little kind of poke where um, the magnet, let's see, where the magnet is sitting. I mean, you can kind of find your own way to do it. You can kind of guess, but I did barely, or kind of like, almost um, like a little pressure point so that I could see where it is. Like it didn't even go all the way through, but I can see where it is on the other side. And I'm gonna add my magnet. Now you wanna make sure, cause there's one side that's gonna stick together and one side that's not. So you have to make sure that you put your adhesive on the right side, okay? This is going to be going like this. So therefore, um, it is going to be the side that is connecting that actually has the adhesive on it because it's on the underside of the other paper. So that takes a little bit of, of figuring out, but once you've got it figured out, it works great. I can see where that little tiny mark, it's like I've made a little braille mark on there, is. And I'm gonna put my, there it is, put my magnet down like that. Okay, then I'm going to use a little bit of tear tape and I am going to adhere my greeting over top so it hides this piece of magnet. Okay, so let's do that. Then we just have to finish with some embellishments. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, now we got to do the, let's put our gift card in here. That's sweet. So we have that little tiny glue dot in here, right? So that's stopping it from going all the way through. So that's perfect. Now we have to see whether, let's see, there we are. There's our magnet. Perfect. It's closing it shut. Now we can go ahead and we can add our little party hat to the inside. I'm going to do this flat because I don't want to add any extra bulk to the inside of this gift card holder. I'm trying to, there we are. Just wanted to squeeze it gently because I don't want a big glob of glue there. So we're going to put the party hat on. Love it. Okay. Keep it on straight or not, right? Depends how much that otter's been partying. Okay. Now I think it's time that we can add a little bit of sparkle to our otter. So I'm going to use this is the Wink of Stella. Love it. All you have to do is just color where you want shimmer to go. And it turns, can you guys see that? Let me see. It turns, see how it adds shimmer right over top of whatever you want to be shimmery. As for water, we want water to be shimmery, right? So I am going to add Wink of Stella all over, all over that water. That was the pool party we used for the water. And then I'm gonna add it to just the belly of that otter and again to the pom-pom on the front. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add my ribbon that we colored and we're gonna add that around the top here. This is gonna kind of tie, um, that coastal cabana paper here and draw it up to the top as well which i think is going to level out the colors a little bit kind of tie it all together okay so i'm going to go ahead good i have lots of ribbon here i'm going to tie it first like so and then i'm going to do my bow through there is our ribbon so the nice thing is with the seam binding not only can you change the color but it's not bulky at all so therefore um, when you do bows on cards and stuff it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk so you can get away with putting this ribbon on your cards and not adding extra postage which is nice I'm just going to trim it a bit there that's good although it's a little big I want it a little bit smaller than that okay I want to bring in this end of the bow that's what I want 
There, that makes me happier. Okay, trim that up. Okay, so we've got that there. Now I want to bring in some of our new um, embellishments as well. So let's have a look and see what I've got. Aren't these looking so sweet? Now, in a second, I'm going to put them side by side and we'll see once they're all done with their embellishments. I'm going to use some of the polished dots because I think they look like almost like clear, like liquid. And then we've got these gorgeous new um, pebble enamel shapes. And again, they have a gorgeous sheen to them. They're like little rocks. Um, we have got so many stamp sets. I wish I could just show you the inside of the catalog, but that is like forbidden until, of course, the catalog goes live. So we're not actually allowed to show the inside of the catalog, but we can show you the products and we can show you things that we make with them. We just can't show you the inside pages, okay? But um, these little pebbles, are so cute and they are going to go so well with so many different products in the new mini catalog so they we've got um, I'm gonna add some just along the bottom here he's popping out underneath the ground but there is um, also some sea glass embellishments again absolutely gorgeous like they have got some amazing amazing um, embellishments in this new catalog there I like that okay now what I want to do is I want to use some of these clear ones here and I'm going to oh, I've got too much of my stuff expressing out there I gave it a turn and it kept on going okay now I'm gonna put just a couple of these one there one over here like that perfect okay all right so let's have a look that just finishes them off nicely um, but like I said I can't wait to show you the rest of the catalog and I hope that you will tune in or check out on YouTube here uh, the rest of my I've got eight more days of sneak peek still to go so you're gonna see lots more stuff from the new catalog so remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of it and just to make it a little bit easier for you I am putting all of these into a playlist which is just um, under 12 days of sneak peeks okay so we have got both colors i love them both um this like it just balances it out i like that the hat's the same yeah it's hard to choose let's have a look on the inside i think that the greeting in the navy pops a little bit more on the inside but this still looks really really good so overall i mean I'm happy with them both, and if I were to choose one over the other, I think I might still go a little bit towards the, um, the Coastal Cabana on the bottom, but almost a tie. There. So there you go. That is day four of Sneak Peek. That is using the Marvelous paper and the new Awesome, yeah, Awesome Otters stamp set. Okay, so when the catalog goes live on January the 4th, if you want to grab some products out of there, you hit $60, um, you can grab this using, um, this is for December, so I'll have a new host code in January, and I will um, send you a loyalty gift, but not only that, you'll be able to join me um, on my Stamping with Seuss Paper Creations, and we will do a little class and you'll have the awesome otters to finish off your cards. Okay, I hope you'll join me then, and I hope you'll stay tuned for more of my YouTube videos or follow me on Sue's Paper Creations Facebook page. Okay, cheers and thanks. Bye.